what it is and what it do welcome back to sample arcade and my friends we are here with a new one we got return to monkey island never played this one before never played any of the others before but it's going to be a good time got commentary all throughout so i hope you enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe comment like let me know if you want to see some more of this later on thank you for watching peace What's up? We are back with Return to Monkey Island. Uh, I've never played this game before, so I'm excited to learn about it. I think this is like a sequel of a sequel, potentially? I don't know. But we're going to jump in. We're excited. We're ready to return. Let's go. An unexpected story begins. Take this, Flitchuck! Ugh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir! Come on! I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Wow. All right. Talk to my man. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Get some scurvy dogs. Do I have finger across the screen to find objects? I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> yeah, we're taking that. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Yo, this dude, wow. And... No, inventory. It unlocks the outhouse outside. And to-do list. All right, let's talk to, let's talk to the homie. Uh, let's, let's order a couple of these rings. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money. Uh, that grown-ups use? I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Let me look at those faces. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I mean, he got a point. He, he definitely has a point. All right, never mind. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. All right. Sounds very clean. Let's do it. 
it's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. It's true. Tap it, drag it. Good, you unlocked it. Uh. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Oh. Huh. Nah, we ain't, uh... Gross! Maybe down there? Gross! Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Scurvy dogs with cheese? Alright, now you're talking. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab that. Uh, yeah. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. True. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Yo, you said it went to the doctor by day two. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. All right, bet. Let's go. Money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Let's get a couple scurvy dogs. Can we get a couple scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. This is legal tender. What can we get with this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. I don't know if we really want these Take scurvy dogs. Boy. If he's doing that. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's explore. What's that? Exhibit removed. Aww. Well, I guess we got the scurvy doll. Let's check our list. Mess around and explore. Look at that. Find our real parents. Jeez. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Definitely being yelled at. All right. Uh, can we go in there? Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. True. All right. Well, I guess we're going in this way. That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Nice. There. Perfect. See you around the park, sit heads. Look at the to-do list. Sheesh. All right, check out the anchor beat. Chucky and Ray's feed the duck. Add some sauce. Practice war fighting. Find a four leaf clover and make a wish. And one day, we'll find our real parents. All right, uh, well, there's a race. So let's go ahead and challenge them. Hey, Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, Double two, two, one. Hey, cheater. You have to wait until I say go. I mean, I, I, I. Did you we'll, know we'll you do it. We'll do it legal. Hey, Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one. One, oh, go! What? Ooh, Chucky, hold on, I almost had him. Hold on, we we, we running that back, Chucky. Yeah! Darn! Nah. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, smoked him, and I gave you a head start. I win! <laughs> <laughs> In France. They call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. Alright, trying to figure out. Let's talk about this anchor. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. 
get shot from kids. They started making them bigger and bigger. <laughs> they said this dialogue lasts a while, so uh, let's show way. you how to not them being we'll asleep. We'll notice what happened when you miss the other ship right, and skip, hit the sea skip, bottom instead. Skip. The current bow sheet design is actually less, but the older design went out of fashion what? after sailors started it, I to promise. think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old on a modern anchor. That's to prevent the little most there we go. about the all, oh, but the only the word anchor. They're called that. Yeah. <laughs> Not the whole Wikipedia page. That's crazy. Nah, I'm. I mean, they really want me to learn how to do this. I mean, can I? I'm doing it. I promise. All right. You know what? We're good. We don't. We don't need that anymore. All right. Uh, rub your fingers around and try to find. So on my to-do list, we did two things. We run the race. We talked about the anchor. It's crazy. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Oh, here's some ducks. Hey, hands off! What's you? That's our bread. Yo, you wild. All right, let's talk to the couple. I can stand on my head without using my hands. See, it says Chucky has good ideas, but I don't. I don't think he does. If I'm being honest with you. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway. That was fun. That's pretty cool. All right, what are you doing? You're just a kid on a on a little jumping joint. Pretty sure it's blood. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. So theoretically, can I go like that? You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Tap and hold your finger anywhere to highlight any. First try. Hey, let's go. One. Talk about luck. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Not that was. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Same time, my G. You are diabolical, bro. All right. Um, there's a well. I should find a coin to throw in. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Before you use up your wish, maybe you should save the game so you can load your save game to try another wish. It sounds like y'all are trying to make this. Uh, did I save it? All right. All right, no, I don't think I did. Save. There we go. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Let's go with a cool plant. I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Oh. Woo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's pretty cool. I take it back. That was the best. Keep close your game. So you're saying I can go here. Alright, one more wish. Um, let's go mustache. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah. Oh. oh no. <laughs> so. All right, let's check our to-do list. Feed the duck, add some sauce to my scurvy dog, which I tried to do when they just said that I was disgusting for doing it. Uh, I can't go that way, can I? Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we I head this be way. Able to come back. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I want to feed the duck. Yeah, I want to feed the duck. This place is fun. Let's check out this basket. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard for personal property. So and no respect for your elders. I have half distracted. a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Uh, Gotta run. How rude. Feed them ducks.
Alright, last thing is to add some sauce to my scurvy dog, but they really not trying to let me dip it. Haha, -ha, pick up the ketchup. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Alright, we completed everything on the list. Apparently they're not our real parents. Let's just talk to D one more time. Oh, ask D, let's go. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Alright. We just go and hit Dip City since we completed that list. And they said we can't return. Oh look, that's my dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought Le Chuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. <laughs> Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, Chuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The truck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Mm, 
We're enemies. Let's go. We've been enemies for my whole career. But it's nice and uh, simple. We've been enemies for my whole career. Right. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. Knew it. Um, let's go. Yep, that guy steal my best ideas. That guy steals all my best yeah. ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he okay, found that's, out. That's a little shady. I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. Long table in I know back. where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> Don't you pretend like you know me. Re-elect Governor Carla. Hopefully she's doing good. Sometimes you gotta... I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck you. is up to. I'm doing, I'm doing it. I'm making it happen, I promise. I would really call that a long table in the back. Cause the I'm here to talk table. to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Oh. Cause I'm wrong. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Where are the three older guys? Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Wow. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Hmm. I heard it was a change of leadership. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Hmm. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Yo, you know who I am? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are her amazing! Plunder stats. plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Not exactly a raid. I'm going to find Monkey Island. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. That's an incredible culture. Nah, it's a, mm. They got a lot of money and jewels in front of them, so let's let's see. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Well, now, let's see if you could advance me some funds. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Sounds like a Not interested. Mm, I don't know about saying the thing about LeChuck, but you know what? YOLO. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great, problem solved. Excellent, you'll do it. Huh? No, 
Of course not. Yeah. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already Oof. going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Oh, wait, to-do list? I'm assuming it's go down to Dark Alley and find the old pirate leaders. Get or find a ship. Find some body and relieve the glory days. Alright, can I go down this low-lit street? Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Scurvy Prevention Project. I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. Girl. Let's ask her about her work first. Can't, How's can't your Scurvy Prevention forward. Project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Um, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. Um, hmm, I feel better just talking to you, right? I feel better just talking Good to answer. you. Me too. All right, so now let's see if she happens to have a ship. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter, just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. And I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Perfect. Well, I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. All right, let's see. This place is going out of business. Let's let's go in there. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. I mean, ever since we last saw each other. Been a year, let's go with that. You mean Sid ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. That's hilarious. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. It's not much, honestly. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Uh, neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. It's kind of like she's telling me don't explore anywhere else, but I'm Property explore. foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. 
Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. That looks At like a Chamber of hour. Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Oh, wait, no, it's, 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 the sign it's, uh, says, at Chamber right. of Commerce... I'm assuming all these are all going to be closed. The note says, forced yeah. to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Here we go. This is where the old leaders should be, yeah. Or no. So I make sure there's nothing else that I could click on. It seems to be stuck closed. Hmm. All right, let's go back here. Go to the jail. Yeah, we go to the jail. A visitor. <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood. Ha <laughs> ha. Otis. Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other <laughs> cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style. How nice of you to notice. Big news, we're going after the secret of Monkey Island. What did you get this time, I assume? Oh, what did you get for this time? What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely didn't say the crime I you locked I noticed you didn't for. say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no. That's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Yeah, um, let's just see. Let's just let them know. Big news. I'm going we after are. the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time, and I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. <laughs> Imagine that. What are the odds? I assume you'll be here when I get back? Don't tease me, Guybrush! <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. <laughs> What'd you do to get arrested? What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what Let's a man does like that. that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Uh, yes, I was hoping to get a ship from you. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Hands Not at any price. Not tied. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Like Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. All right. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. See you later. Yep. All right. Said it was a locksmith. Let's visit the locksmith and then we gotta make it to the dock. Welcome to my shop. Hi. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Sounds like fun. 
I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Uh, this one. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. Go this one. I'm on a secret. quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Makes sense. Seems enormously useful. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe. In case people lose their key. You know how people are. That is true. Uh, aren't locks way less secure? Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. <laughs> what happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, Chances are, you don't need a new key. All right. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Let's not ask too many, uh... We ain't, we ain't trying to look suspicious, so we're gonna break our friend out. Then we're gonna go straight to the docks. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. It's too tiny to read. Can I have a rat read it? Watch your boots in here, son. It's like it says jail rules. One, no escaping. That's it. Okay. Uh, we don't have to talk to Otis. If we can't peer at the lock with just our eyes. Let's see what the book says. And a sturdy ship. Okay. Looks like we can't get him out yet. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. That's good. All right, so I'm assuming that there is something else. Where does this go? Uh, all right, let's go to the docks. And then I think we'll, uh, yeah. How clever. Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Well, that's good. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. Smart. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? Short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Sure, let's do it. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, job is hey hey wait a minute what's your name sailor andrew lechuk no relation. no relation what a coincidence lechuk gave me a blacklist and you're on it in <laughs> fact you are the blacklist i'm sorry can't hire you you're obviously guy brush three wood well that's a slight hitch I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. We're going to get on this boat. Somehow. And I hope you'll be there with me. Thank you for watching. Um, again, please comment if you want to see some more. 
Also, let me know if you enjoy the commentary, if you just want to see only gameplay, because I do both on my channel. So, you know, I'm here to help make some dreams happen for all. Uh, thank you for watching again, and be on the lookout for my next video. Have a great week. Peace.